Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 102. This is going to be another video in the series of uh, classes and how to use classes. Today, I will be joining Ryu Marksman. He's actually a commander on Nuclear Dawn, plays often on, on the Chaos server, and is also a really, really good commander to work under and also an excellent teammate. He's actually the one who developed the concept for this video. So with no further ado, uh, Ryu Marksman, please take it away. Thanks for having me on, Fed. In this video, we are going to discuss the potential of effective squads in Nuclear Dawn. An effective squad can help give an advantage to their team. This advantage is necessary for commanders to grasp the battlefield and win the game for their team. I'm sure you can agree with that, Fed. Yeah, I totally agree. A good commander is only half of the puzzle. The other half is strictly rides on the team. Uh, the commander can't cap resources, the commander cannot take out buildings, and the commander cannot push up. In, in my opinion, the only thing a, a commander really can do is uh, make, uh, give an appropriate strategy, move quickly and aggressive enough to go with the flow of the troops and how the way they're moving around the map and just back them up. Everything else rides strictly on the ability for the troops to be able to cap resources and take out structures because even if you have two teams that are fairly evenly matched, you know, they both have good teams and they both have good commanders, teamwork is what's really going to give your commander that edge. Definitely. Gaining the edge will help win the game for the whole team. In Nuclear Dawn, it is important to work together. This applies to the entire team, not just the squad. If everyone went infantry and did their own thing, that team would have a quick demise. I have two golden rules. One, work together. Everyone in the team should be doing this. Assaults need to use thermal. Exos need to mow down people or blow stuff up. Recons need to stealth kill Exos and cap for resource points. And supports need to support. Second, the squad needs to stick together and aim for a similar objective. Coordination is also important. You need to coordinate what class each squad member will go as and what to do. Having voice chat or actively participating in the chat will help significantly. The composition of your squad depends on what you are trying to do. I have a couple of squad ideas that I will share with you. First is an early game squad for sabotage. You can do this with one other friend and it will hinder the enemy team right away. Just with two or more saboteurs and you can knock out their relays, delaying their early advancement. Second is another early game squad for capturing Prime. This is best with an assault infantry and an exo suppression. The exo can keep people away and the assault can keep stealths off his back. If you have a third, you can have him go medic so you can heal and give nano skin to the exo. Remember that Prime is a death zone if you sit in the box. Have the EXO outside keeping enemies away. Lastly is a late game squad for demolition. This squad has two forms depending on where you are at. If you have the front line, you will be backed by your structures. So take a Granada, a Medic, and the rest as an EXO sieges. You can destroy their structures quickly while maintaining the line. If you are sneaking your squad around to hit them from the back, swap out the Assault Granada with an Assault Infantry and swap the Medic for an Engineer. This will help you contend by yourself. you have any suggestions on squads yourself, Fed? Well, I think how you divided up all those squads is actually perfect. Um, in most games, uh, people are not going to work in teams greater than three, but ideally a killer squad would be like a team of four. Yes, I agree. So like for the uh, backline squad where you have an assault, uh, an engineer and an exo, you could probably also throw in a medic as well if there was a team of four. Yes, you... yes, that's perfect. If you had four people, all of those people doing that all at once, it would really be a killer squad. The fourth uh, member for uh, backline number two could also be a stealth. A stealth actually can help out quite a bit in scouting ahead and actually uh, shooting people from behind that are trying to shoot the squads. But uh, again, uh, you know, a good squad of four is ideal. However, I think most people don't get in groups bigger than three. Uh, that's personally what I think. I think that uh, everything that you described as far as squads being uh, split up is actually you know, pretty much perfect. As a matter of fact, I know that whenever uh, you and I play on the Chaos server, uh, we tend to work really good as a two-man team. So I just wanted to go ahead and show a little bit more footage of just you and I playing on uh, the map Clock Tower. Resource capture. Okay, I'm gonna Coming build need a Ninji. spawn uh, right in front of there. Um, no, not exactly. Are you? I see there. you. I'm coming downstairs right now. 
I think Never we got a better L uh, advantage point up here. Yeah. Oh, I got burned to death. I'll be up in a bit. Wow, my shotgun just failed there horribly. Wow, we ran out of power? Oh, there they are. My bad, my bad. I told you they were taking out power generators. Wait, I don't see anyone on the map right now. Anyway, I'm going to see what I can do, because I was just forced to spawn hey, a space, uh, but they took out another power generator. For a little bit, okay? Uh, can we build some more power? Jesus. No, we can't. We're not Sorry, defending the power. I said that they were taking out all of our yeah, power. Yeah, they got exos cutting us off from behind. Yeah, told you. Yeah, no, tree and they, but... yeah it's right here. I, yeah, I, 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 I the power behind Prime. You guys like, oh, no, just ignore. Yep. Yeah, oh, yes, I'm going to ignore you. Hey, hey, let's, let's have a team go through the subway. Let's hit their assembler. Roger that. We're in the subway now. The point? We can hit their assembler from inside their base. Yeah, we are actually... I'll bring you guys' idea better. I'm just going to start dropping uh, daisy cutters everywhere. This is a good example of not what to do. No teamwork. <laughs> We're all talking. No, we should do this. We should do that. No, I don't know. Fuck that. Screw you guys. I'm inside the How about I don't play? play. Okay guys, I have an idea. Let's just rush repetitively into their faces and I hope we eventually overwhelm them using only stealth. Oh wow. Resource position. Oh wait, that only works on oil field, never mind. You have a daisy cutter rush? Boys, they got four axes coming down the sub one. Yeah, I, I got him. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, stealth. Four axes when I was spawning in the middle. Alright, I got your back, P2P. Okay, there's two artillery in base. They're in a sec. Thanks for watching this episode of Nuclear Dawn Help. I'm Ryu Marksman. Comment, like, subscribe, and have fun owning the battlefield.